In this video, I'll show you how you can use Databricks to run queries against external data sources. This is known as Lakehouse Query Federation. The term Query Federation describes a collection of features that enable users and systems to run queries against multiple data sources without needing to migrate all of the data to a unified data system. The way it works is that you configure read-only access connections to these data sources using drivers that are included on pro and serverless SQL warehouses, along with Databricks runtime clusters. At the time of recording, Lakehouse Federation supports connections to the following database types, MySQL, PostgreSQL, Amazon Redshift, Snowflake, Microsoft SQL Server, Azure Synapse, Google BigQuery, and other Databricks workspaces outside of your Unity Catalog Metastore. Lakehouse Federation is meant for use cases where you don't want to ingest data into Azure Databricks. It's also meant for use cases where you would rather take advantage of compute in the external database system. And you also want the advantages of Unity Catalog, such as fine-grained access control, data lineage, and search capabilities. To be able to query data from these external data sources, you need to create a connection on Unity Catalog. You do this via the connections in the external data menu. Once you've established a connection, you create a foreign catalog using that connection. A foreign catalog mirrors a database in an external data system so that you can query and manage access to data in that database using Azure Databricks and Unity Catalog. I should mention, in terms of requirements, you need a Unity Catalog enabled Databricks workspace to be able to leverage Data Lakehouse Federation. You also need a cluster with a runtime version of 13.1 or above in either a shared or single access mode. Or if you're using an SQL warehouse, then it must be pro or serverless. You also need the permissions to create connections and foreign catalogs. Okay, so let me demonstrate how to set up Lakehouse Federation for a Snowflake database. So I'm on this Snowflake workspace, which contains sample data. As you can see, there's a database called Snowflake Sample Data. And within that, there are various tables and data objects. I want to be able to query data in this Snowflake Sample Data database in Databricks. So in my Databricks workspace, what I do is I'd go to external data and I'd create a connection. So give the connection a name. So that will be Snowflake Connection. And then specify the connection type. So I need to specify the host. So let me get that from this Snowflake account. So the format is host.domain.com. So let me get rid of this HTTPS bit. The port is always 443 for Snowflake. So for the user, Specify your username and then your password. And now we need to select a Snowflake warehouse. This is like a Databricks SQL warehouse, which will be doing the compute. So on Snowflake, you can see your warehouse is under admin. So I will use this compute underscore WH warehouse. So type in compute underscore WH, and then you can test the connection. And as you can see, that works. So let's create this connection. So now we need to create a foreign catalog. So to do that, go on catalog and then create catalog. Give it a name. So I'll call it Snowflake Sample Data. For the type, it has to be foreign. And now we need to specify a connection. So this will be the connection we just created. And now select a database. So that will be Snowflake Sample Data. So this is the database we want to make available on Databricks. And as I told you, this is the one I want to be able to access. So within that, notice all of these different data objects and then tables as well. So let's test the connection. Great, so the connection is established. So now when I click on create, notice we have this foreign catalog and then you can see all of the schemas and then all of the tables within the schema. So the terminology in Snowflake is slightly different. So this is a database and these are schemas and then you have tables. So in Databricks, this would be the catalog. These are the databases and schemas and then you have the data objects within it. So let's query one of these objects. Let me query this customer table. So I'll open up an SQL editor 
and I will do select star from snowflake sample data and I believe it's in this schema and here it is customer so let's run this great so as you can see that's worked we've created a foreign catalog that allows us to query data in an external data storage if you want to learn more and try to set up foreign catalogs for other databases, then please check out the documentation that I'll link in the video description. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more content like this.